So very similar to um, what we've been looking at so far with other tweens. We firstly just want to reference our meshes in. So we'll create a mesh component and go set multiple meshes like so. And then we can come up to the mesh tab in Pufferfish and we're just going to uh, tween through meshes here. Plug our meshes in and it's going to create our one at 0 0.5 as we know um, it has done before. And then we might just create another range, 0, 10, 20 maybe, whatever you like. Plug those steps into the factor, like so. And then you get a nice tween between all of these geometries. So you're able to tween between these two meshes that we just kind of created earlier. Uh, we could change the interpolation type, of course, so we could go... 0 to 3, have a look at the effect that it has on our tween. Nothing really with the meshes, so we won't worry about that. And of course you could add a graph mapper if you wanted as well. Change it to a bezier. And basically this will kind of just affect the location of those guys. So maybe we pull it back towards our base geometry just because it's getting a bit bunched up towards the end there. Like that. That looks pretty good. And then you get a nice tweened output between those meshes. So I'm going to group that guy and call it tweened meshes. Great, so Pufffish also enables us to create um, mesh geometries from base surfaces. So I could go ahead and um, create a surface component again and reference this surface in. Um, and what I could do with that is I could come up to the um, mesh tab again and create um, a, a mesh geometry from this surface using the parameter surface mesh. And we'll plug, put that guy down. Uh, and basically, it's going to ask for some parameters U and V. So this is another point where we can use our range components. And I'm going to grab one of those guys. Um, I might create, uh, in fact, let's just plug those in and just get a feel for what they're doing. So you can't quite see what's happening, um, but if I were to create, um, in fact, I think if I turn on my preview mesh edges, you might have it on already, you're about to see the type of mesh topology you're getting from this. So if we created a graph mapper, we can actually manipulate the topological kind of buildup of this mesh output. So I'll plug that into U and V again, like that. And if we um, adjust this, you can kind of bunch up where those kind of edges are and distort how your kind of mesh is. So you get a larger face in one corner and much smaller faces in another corner. And we could actually go and extend this logic a little bit and um, we could create you know, a second one based on this bottom surface here, like that. And I might hide all of this stuff and preview the surfaces off. And then we could essentially continue the logic we've been using with our tweening and tween between these two meshes. So I go up to the mesh tab here and I could tween two meshes, mesh A, mesh B. Uh, once again, we could create a range and we could copy the graph mapper over as well. And suddenly we're getting a uh, pretty interesting tween through all these different types of geometries that look something like that. Might just make it a little bit more subtle than what it currently is so we can get a few more in. Like that. So I might group that and we'll call that tween through two meshes. 